win a spot at Defend the North, you get a hotel and you get to prove yourself. This is what it's all about. This is why we throw these tournaments. You can prove yourself at Defend the North. War is fury. There's no mercy. When you guys are dressed as a rap, you take Woo! And, uh, That's a lot of damn yeah. Ooh! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Please be like a two hit combo. Okay, true blue NYC holding that pressure down. All right, cool. Nice. What's up, everyone? Welcome to Smashed Out. I'm Toucan. I'm uh, Koopa Kev. <laughs> All right. So we got <laughs> Semicolon and Concussed. These guys are both from Mayo Pack, and they're, it's a Marth Puff matchup. Uh, should be pretty interesting. I actually have not seen Semicolon for quite a while. I did. See, I think I saw him last week. He was at the last, last one. I don't know if he was in, in the, the week prior. Because the week prior was... Uh, Low turnout for sure. Yeah. That was because of Memorial Day and whatnot. Yeah, I did go Memorial Day because, truth be told, I actually, I actually scratched my eye. Believe it or not, um, I like, er, like in the afternoon, I went outside, piece of dirt flew in my eye. I couldn't get it out. I was rubbing it out, and then I went to the doctor because I couldn't get it out. And he's like, "Oh, you scratched it trying to get it out." I'm like, "Well, that's great." <laughs> so my eye, better, yeah. It, so much better though. You have. They went to F, stroked FD. Interestingly enough, um, this is, I guess, favorite in Marth's favor. Yeah, I'd say so. It's a good I think. Stage. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Marth just w flat out wins this matchup just because of the sword. But um, ooh, very nice coming out from Concuss though. It's tricky because um, puffs back here is you know, puffs back here and that too. Like Marth can't just grab willy nilly in this matchup. He has to pick yeah. spots. That was a sick back here to yeah, have but smash to actually get Tipper. But Jigs barely survives that, though. Great so now, DI, though. So now he has to try and keep Puff up. What second he gets her up, he has to keep her up, juggle her. Like right there, now he has to keep her up. So he gets down for free. All right. He's rolling around quite a yeah. bit. Oh, Ooh, very good combo right there. Oh, I don't like that forward smash, though. But he, did, he goes unpunished. Oh. Ooh, that Nothing will like not take it. Wave dash back F smash. Okay, let's go. Trying to hold ground. Should, should be a little more grounded, honestly. Try, try side being a little more to try and get the non non committal openings. Mm -hmm. He finally takes a stock with the uh, with the forward smash right there, yeah. but he took 89%. So Concuss is still pretty much up right now. That F smash will not take it, but will put um, something on the stage. Oh, oh I, he doesn't do it correctly. Yeah, Seems a little upset about that, but. Yeah. Let's shake it off. Oh. I like that landing right there, but he should have went for a grab right there. Yeah, he like feigned a tomahawk, but then didn't do it. <laughs> Still worked out. Yeah. Oh, oh. 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 he's he getting died it. at 53 from a tipper. Yeah, he's just DIing in some weird ways where it's like yeah. landing semicolon some good tippers that <laughs> I wouldn't expect to hit. Yeah, there was a rest opportunity within that combo before um, Concussed lost that stock right there. I'm a little bit surprised he didn't go for it, but I guess he was he was like, hey, didn't oh, want to risk it. Oh, bad air dodge. It's a, a free stock for now he has to play with this. Yeah. He's in a uh, good position. See, like he, he, he's like in the right distances to get these tippers. And yeah. I don't know if it's like a mix and that was of... A, that was a pivot tipper too. Yeah. 
Okay. He's trying to crouch them, but still getting grabbed. Oh. Good pound right there to up. Yeah, that was, a, that was really bad that choice by um, Semicolon. He like, yeah. put himself above Puff, and then that landed that up here. Yeah, and Concuss did a really good job of converting right there, and he's going to take the first game up 1-0. Good stuff. Yeah, yeah very good stuff. Uh, and he bans Yoshi's. That's where I would have suggested Semicolon go. So yeah. So and now I would I recommend um, maybe... Yeah, Battlefield's Yeah, Battlefield's good. Um, I noticed that they actually... Um, um, they were using, like, I think one of them hit the Y button. We have a mod on that like turns off uh, background effects, I think, and uh, stage hazards, I think. So if they went to Pokemon, I would have had to remind them to turn it back on. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I have that on my uh, Wii back at home. I'm not... Oh. Ooh! Very nice rest right there. A little bit risky, no but... No punish because of the start KO, so now he's back. Yeah. And yeah. Okay. Concuss is doing pretty well so far. Playing very patiently. And he's getting the conversions when he needs them. Yeah, that's for sure. Oh, gets a forward though. Oh, oh my no. god! Oh, that's yeah. a confidence yeah. shatterer right there. He's gonna get punished, but he's gonna live. These are the the willy nilly grabs I was talking about. That he's not. He has to down to a little more, get Puff to approach a little more Ooh. too, and like. Very nice right there. Oh. Just waiting out the option. So, oh, tries to Did not need the spot dodge, but it's all right. There's him away. Up air, yeah. Fair and up air is your friend right now. He's, oh, just comes back down with a down air. Yeah. Oh, like, goes like, for the forward Seems now. like he's not putting up a wall, though. Like, he's just dash dancing around, and whenever Tim uh, Concuss is trying to come back down, All right, as yeah, opposed yeah. to Zane, where he would, like, dash back, pivot fair over and over again until he get an open. Oh that was God. a good rest. Yeah. That was really good. Yeah, Concuss is really on point this set. I can say the opposite, unfortunately, about semicolon. Oh, to, oh that's going to take it three stock to take the set. That was a statement. Wow. Yeah, that was. Damn. That was, that was the most rush I've ever seen him hit. <laughs> like, <laughs> ever. <laughs> oh God. Good job, Timmy. Good job. Good job, man. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> a side beat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, we got Kyle and Bree Bree, I think. Bri. Yeah, Bree Bree up next. Falco versus maybe Samus or Ganon, because he was swapping characters around yeah. like crazy. Yeah, I've heard of Kyle. I don't think I've heard of Bree Bree. So. Yeah, Bree Bree, last time I saw him, he played uh, Ganon, and then he also played Samus. So I don't know which character. Yeah, I heard Ganon. So I think he's going to whip that out against uh, Kyle's Falco. This would be interesting. I'm pretty sure. I don't think Ganon does well at this match. No, yeah. Falco can just have his way with Ganon whenever. Like, it, because of the laser, because of all the superior hitboxes that come out quicker. And, like, Ganon's low key a bad character. <laughs> but I hate to say it. Yeah. Like, because like, I, I do see the potential with Ganon. We've seen stuff from Bizarro Flame, Kage, and the like. And we all know Ganon does have a good matchup against Ice Climbers. But, um, the, re uh, the rest of the top tiers, he just gets bodied. Yeah, it comes down to just being a little too slow and. Every yeah. opening you grab, you have to make it count so hard. You have to like yeah. stomp him, get him off stage, and hopefully get that card. Yeah, he's doing okay so far. A little bit earlier, we just saw a wave dash back predicting the approach, and I really like that. Uh, good jab right there. Gan's jab actually nice. is very nice fast. Myself. Despite him being a very slow, powerful character, Gan's jab actually comes out very fast, and it can yeah. stop some out of shield options. Is he calling me first? Okay, uh, okay, I gotta go then, because uh, I was set to play. All right, good luck. I'm pretty sure I'll be called as well, so I guess I'll keep it from here. Take it from here. All right, we got a dead even game, three stocks apiece. Ooh, very nice stuff coming out from the Ganon right now. To get back air right there. Saibi so goes to get back on. He does not get the edge cancel. I think he was going for that. Oh, very nice small pillar combo right there. Misses the back air, but he gets the forward tilt. That's going to be another stock for Bree Bree. I really want to see uh, more laser pressure coming out from Kyle right now. Oh, I don't, th I don't think he hit the dare. I think he just fell. I don't know. My eyes were up for a quick second. Oh, nice double dare right there. Misses. Uh, Babiri ma Bri Bri misses his a dare of his own. Good grab. Gets him off stage. Oh, the fair. Very nice coming out from Bri Bri. Yeah, I'm not seeing enough offensive pressure co uh, coming out from this Falco. 
Oh, am I playing? Alright guys, I gotta hop off. I gotta play. I'll see you guys later. player extraordinaire watching an awful matchup uh baby bird yeah oh the no impact land down bees the classic ganon uh ledge option if they can't do ledge dash this falco's playing it nice though Ooh. He's basically just staying outside of his range. And Gen has no options at all. Which, uh... Is why this is horrible. Falcon can just stay short hop fair distance away with lasers. And then with punishing Zero Death them over and over and over again. Which is a great time for Ganon. Uh, Yoshi's story. I guess it's decent. I mean, you can do Waveland stuff. As long as... I mean, as long as the Ken didn't choose Pokemon or FD, he's at least on an okay stage. Ken is trying to get down. Could have shield grab that probably, just because Gans. I think Gans goes behind him like Falcons. Oh, tech chase with F tilt. Oh, again the non back land down B. On this stage, you should be able to wave land on too, just because it's Yoshi's you know, and it's way easier for Falcon and um, for uh, again, like it's not frame perfect or whatever. Hey, yeah, just not respecting his ledge options. Just spamming F smash to beat him. This Falco keeps going to ledge, so it would be cool to see the Ganon. Like, it's hard to get there because he's so slow, but do something to cover it. Because he just stands there at the ledge and tries to do F tilt, but doesn't hit if it's space. Or doesn't hit if it's a uh, sweet spot. Trying to shield drop, probably. Pretty cure, a uh, pretty, uh, pretty not great ledge options from the Ganon. I'd like to see some ledge hops or like uh, ledge jumps because they're super high. And even though Falcon can cover them, most people aren't really expecting them. You mix them up. The dreaded. Burial, beating every option from every mid-tier character. Lead to the kill. Oh, bad side beat. Very bad. He probably meant to jump side beat and just didn't jump, unfortunately. Oh, that was a good shield stop because he's been dash attacking, so Falco probably just wants to stay in shield. But he punished that with a shield stop grab, which is cool. Nice. That was good. That was a good, good recovery. He started changing up what he was doing to be able to actually like get the Falco out of shield or punish him out of shield. He's probably gonna go to FD or Pokemon. Yeah, the stage is trash for Ganon. Because even though there's star platforms to kind of move around, it's so long and he just he's too slow to get across the stage. And Falco can just run away whenever he wants to reset. Jab war not gonna work out. He went for the read, I guess, but it might have just been like a I hope you do this. Stop and get a lot off of this. See, he, he kinda just he's kinda just giving up ledge every time. 
wave dashing back, hoping like I don't know, maybe reading that he's going on stage, but he hasn't really gone on stage yet. Mm. Again, he had it like he went to cover stage anyway. <laughs> kind of tired, really sleepy. Hey, sing. But I'll give it my best. Uh, yeah, you're from Long Island, right? So I'm assuming your trip was kind of by the voyage. Um, I'm from Rockland. Oh, you're from Rockland. But I went to school in Long Island. Oh, okay. So it wasn't too bad, but <laughs> still a little bit of a trip. Yeah. Okay, so we have Maybe Kyle. Maybe it's and a game three. three situation. Game three. Oh, oh okay. drops well, card. It's not too bad. He's yeah. like 200 percent. Yeah, he just needs a yeah one of those and grab ledge. Oh, he's, he hasn't really been grabbing much, unfortunately. That was like the first time he's he able to cover it. it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, well, goodbye. I'm playing. All right, good luck, dude. <laughs> okay, so we have sort of a tight game because Kyle could easily bring this back with a big juicy combo. Because Falco can kind of just do that to a game. Okay, double shine push. Here's the jab out, trying to get some space. These are up tilts, trying to find some openings. Got one through the dash attack, but ends up getting reversed, grabs ledge. Is he gonna edge guard this? He just waits and up smashes the ledge. It's good. So now they're, yeah, they're sort of even. Just, oh, it keeps getting hit with these double jump double jump fairs keep snatching him. I don't think he's recognizing how big the hitbox actually is. Oh, just goes for a shine but gets shield shine grab shield grabbed after it. We holding ground pretty well actually. <laughs> like jab and wave dash back. Yeah, there he goes. He's holding trying to hold center. Gets another grab. Transformation's gonna mess things up a little bit. He keeps getting shield grabs, leaving the Kyle's not doing safe pressure on shield, and that's going to cost him the set. Yeah, guy giving too many openings. Good job to Bree Bree. <laughs> okay. Up next, me versus two canner shitter. <laughs> Did they just start playing, Barry? They're almost done? Okay. Guess I'm up next. I'll go in the stream.
Hello? Hello? Oh, I'm on. Hello. Uh, I now, I heard that one of the foxes in competition is not actually entered, which is a great thing for me. So there's one less person to actually worry about, because Fox is a dumb, broken character. Oh my god. Never mind, Ices is more broken. I lied. <laughs> oh, he, he didn't end it. This is it. This is, no. Oh, no. oh my god. Koopa Cap can actually totally make this back. I have to do shine. Oh no. Yeah. Up air, down air is a true combo into down smash. Kind of. He's a sick shirt on. Nintendo 64 shirt. They're probably going to go to Yoshi's or... No? I mean, he probably banned Yoshi's. So Battlefield, the same thing except a little bigger. I don't know how I feel about... Yeah. Okay, well, he lucked out again. But I don't know how I feel about, first off, the shine drill behind him. Because I think you can just shield the eye with him and then get a grab. But that ledge dash spot dodge must have been an accident. It's probably supposed to be ledge dash shine. Down the rope smash. Cool. Like, if the shine hit, it's, it's great, but it, it feels a little committal. Oh. He should really... Yeah, I think he can kill that. Oh, no, he missed the shine. Yeah. S-Man? Alright, well... He, like, just up through and didn't get punished for it, which he probably should have, but... 2K might not have reacted. He really needs to kill his Nana. He, he's getting a hit, and then... Nana just gets away. It just keeps happening. Oh, no, not another grab. This is now extremely difficult. In my opinion, even though it's not hard to kill Ices, I don't know. There's just the mental pressure of being down two stocks and then not being able to get grabbed twice. It's too hard for a spacey player. Come on. No. That's such a committal option. I feel like it's not necessary. Oh. That was ambitious. Two came was kind of far from Nana. But it's whatever. Two zero stock characters against Fox. What can you do? Went too far. Oh! That was some good target switching. But he drilled. Which is a no no. Oh no. Not the wobbles. Can he make the three stock comeback? Game two. Against the dreaded ice climbers. I sure hope so. I don't know, it's just, he just keeps dropping Nana kills. It seems like, or every time he hits Nana, he'll like hesitate a little bit and then go to hit her and then miss. And it says if nothing ever happened. Nice. Two stocks. Kuba Kev can do this. He's a a technical fox player. They're, they're pretty good against ice climbers half the time. Shine. Oh, Nana. Oh, Shine on the wrong side. That up to on shield was crazy. Why would you do that? F smash? No. Uh, just, I feel like getting Nana off off the stage at that point anyway. Oh, that was that was that was a uh, pretty close. See, all you have to do is get Nana off stage, and a lot of Ice Climbers have trouble without her. <laughs> However, I have seen Toucan do some pretty, for lack of a better word, gimmicky stuff with, with, with Sopo. That's, that's pretty good, like, once per set, or once every couple sets. Mm, yeah, oh, that's one of them. Oh my god! Oh my god! That was that was horrible! Oh my god! <laughs> he had the he had the the comeback and then just SD and lost the the three. Ah, eh, goodbye. <laughs> that was heartbreaking. Survival! Venom Player!
We're good? All right, Toucan hopping on the mic, commentating this sick matchup. We got JLL, got a un very unusual pick in Yoshi, but he's got a very sick Yoshi. And we got Fishit, who looks like he's going Donkey Kong? I'm a little bit surprised. I mean, I've never really seen Fishit play. And JLL doing his thing where he randomly selects a Yoshi. We're getting a nice rainbow of colors right now. I love I love that. He basically lets his opponent decide uh, what Yoshi's going. He's going yellow, which is actually, I think, my favorite primary color. Anyway, game one, we're going to go to Battlefield. And yes, Fishit is going DK. Let's see this DK in action. As both of these playing very unusual picks. I mean, JLO, uh, uh, JLO's main is Yoshi. We all know him for Yoshi. Um, but let's see how he does against this DK. He's going in right now at all with the up airs right now. Ooh, gets the shield up in time. But he armors through the back air, and he shield drops through the uh, the up the up B. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I've never commentated a DK uh, match in this game at all. Good down smash to beat out the up B though. On the ground up B, I think his, the startup is slower. Gets back. Good tail. Good back air. To Ooh, good tech on the platform, though. He's Ooh, shield pokes with the down B. That's going to be the first shot going to JLO. He was almost at 200%, though. And that down smash does not hit on the platform. Looks like it does. Up B hits, but he's still getting back. Forward till he goes nowhere. Back air, not gonna do it. Ooh, grabs on the ledge. Ooh. Ooh, she gets the shield out in time. Oh, damn. Both of these players have been living... I mean, I know it's only the first stock, but... Both of these players lived to almost 200%. Yoshi's known for doing that, though. I'm not sure about so much about DK. I mean, he is a heavy character. You don't really see that many heavies in melee. All right, good, pretty good combo right there. Oh, he armors through the up B. Oh, but he gets hit with the giant punch, and he's gonna take a stop for that. That's coming in clutch right there. See if GLO can bring this back. He definitely can. Very good armoring through with the nair, and he gets back. Oh, but he has a jump. Good down smash. DK's gonna live for a little bit longer though. Good Nair, and he's in trouble. The egg misses, but he gets grabs the ledge, and we're dead even at two stocks apiece. Jello though sitting at 70%. He's gotta make a comeback right now, and the percent is only climbing from here. Good e good lick right there, or egg lay, or whatever the move's called. Good fair though. He's gonna be living. Still has a double jump. Oh! He does no jump. I don't think he's going to get back. He is not. All right. Fish is up one stock in a very good position. Doing pretty good with the DK. Good forward tilt right there. For those of you who do not know, Yoshi's forward tilt does have set knockback. It's similar to Fox's shine in the sense. It's basically a worse shine, but it's still a very good tool for uh, edge games because that can leave in the forward air. Good armor. Good parry right there, though, or good armoring through that. But he's going to get grabbed. He's going to get off stage. The fair, he armors through it. But he gets hit by the up B. Oh, he's in trouble, but he gets back. Oh, but he gets hit by the... By the I keep wanting to call it, call it Dawn Punch. I'm sorry, everyone. Um, good up air. Not going to take it, though, just yet. Goes down with, that, with the down B. He does not get hit. Oh, that shield's getting low. Oh, goes for the down smash, but it misses. But he gets the forward smash. Good egg. Finally hits with the egg off stage. But he's going to get back. This is going to be not a big punish. Good. I forgot what that I don't know what that was, but it kills off the top. And Fish it two stocks GLO with DK. And he takes game number one. And this is a best two out of three. So JLO, JLO has at least one more game to come back. He needs to come back on this game. And you can see he's frustrated right now. I think he's really frustrated right now. 
trying to think of what to do. I don't blame him. DK, I mean, DK may not be the... Uh, DK's not a viable character, but the he's a curveball pick. And that gets people sometimes. It gets a lot of people. Like, stuff like that has gotten me in the past. All right, we got the OG Yoshi going to the Fountain of Dreams game number two. All right. Jello starting out strong. The back air does not get the second one, though. Oh, the up B is going to clip him before that fair connects. Good down air, but he air dodges to prevent a, a follow up. Very good play. Oh, that fair. Oh, he has no jump. And that four smash is going to take it. Clap your hands. DK was at the magical percent of 64, which he is. In, in, he was from the original N64 game. Pretty good. Cool. I'm surprised that Lick did not get uh, did not grab him. And this is proving that DK is a heavy character. He's in for forever, man. Oh, I'm pretty sure that side B was a missed input right there, and he's getting he's eating percent for it. He is at the magic percent. Oh, was at the magic percent. Good up smash. Not gonna take it though. But he's pressuring with eggs on the top platform. That that down B, not as much shield pressure as it is in later games. In later games such as Ultimate and Smash 4, that would have broken his shield. But in back in the day in melee, that's just well, you just shrug it off. Yeah, he's not. The, here's the thing I'm seeing in this matchup. Yoshi has a hard, like he's has a very hard time punching DK's recovery. As long as he's recovering low, there's not really much Yoshi can do about it. The eggs don't really go that low, unfortunately. And Yoshi has to hard commit going off stage because, like, if he gets hit out of his double jump, he's done. You don't want to have to rely on your double jump. It's basically your up B as, as, as a Yoshi player. Anyway, Fish it looking really good right now, looking really crisp. Only 13% on his second stock. Yoshi at 110% on his third stock. JLO, oh. Oh, man. JLO on the verge of getting three stocked and getting sent in the losers at winner's quarters. This is, well, I don't know where Fish is seated, but this will be a low tier upset at the least. What's up? Oh, he's seated number three. Oh, man. I wonder if this is even his main. Uh, goes for the charge up smash. I think he's getting a little bit desperate now. Good for a good dash attack though. That's gonna take the stock right there. All right, JLo still got a mountain to climb. Let's see if he can do it. Oh, very nice combo right there. He's starting out pretty strong. Oh, he's swinging for the fences. Let's go. Okay, but the up B again clipping him out of any combo potential. Forward, uh, back air off the stage. This could be it. That is it. Fish it. Takes it 2-0 over J-L-O. And that rhyme was not intentional. This is showing how good of a character DK could potentially be. And right now we got Vortex versus Concussed. We got Puff versus potentially Fox or Sheik. Or Falco. I mean, last time I played Vortex, he went Falco and I beat him. But let's see how uh, Concussed do uh, does. The ones that I commentated with him earlier in the bracket, he had a pretty strong performance, completely decimating semicolon. And right now we got Baby Bird showing up right next to me. How's it going, Baby Bird? It's been a while. Yeah, what have you been up to? Graduating college, unfortunately. Con well, congratulations on that, man. Thank you. I'm finally free. Yeah. I'm free. Uh, I was free, and then I decided to go to grad school. Big mistake. Yeah, especially since I'm not, like, doing anything business-wise or plan to doing anything business-wise. I am just want to sit and be a bank teller for a while now. <laughs> just relax. Get good at Smash. Yeah. And relax a little bit. That's what, the way I want to do it. What are you going for? I'm um, going for my MBA, actually. Oh, okay. I got one more class in the fall, and then I'm done. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I figured I'd just get it because I started it, and even though I realized, like, even though accounting or business is not really the path I want to take, I'm like, might as well finish it. Yeah, it at this good. point, you might as well have it. Yeah. All right, anyway, let's hop in with this set, Concuss versus Vortex, and I'm not sure if this is a button check, but it seems like we're going to Battlefield Game 1. Yes, this is not a button check. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it is. I don't, I don't think he would start it with the sh short hop double laser rub eye. I <laughs> Otherwise... <laughs> All right, so it looks like Vortex is playing uh, pr very defensive right now, keeping his distance. I don't blame him because Puff is that character that she wants to come to you. Good up there, but he, but yes, uh, SEI is out of it. Yeah, he's a big fan of just run away until they're up the upper percent and then up the upper them. Because if if the Puff doesn't know how to beat that, it's they're just gonna get kind of crushed. Yeah, definitely. 
Uh, gets the back air, and he gets the reverse hit, luckily for him, and he's going to take the stock. Right now, he's sitting very comfortably at only 19%. Alright, now he's putting on the pressure, it seems. Oh, does not go for the second one, or he goes for the second one, but it was way off. I guess he was trying to read. Gets hit by the pound, and then the forward smash, but he air dodges through the flare. That would have been a very bad if he didn't do that. Oh, nice rest by Concuss. Ooh. He is going to get punished, though. Charge up smash will take the stock. Very, very hard punish. Hard punish. He might as well go for it. <laughs> I don't blame him. He was at, like, 56%, so I don't blame him right there. And then... Yeah, okay, just run away again, shooting lasers. Oh, combos. Nice. Combos on Puff. That air dodge is getting punished severely for it. Oh, but he avoids the grab. But the up air is going to take it. <laughs> if he's not, I don't know, if he's not going to DI those up throws, it's, it's going to be rough, especially yeah. versus uh, Vortex. He's yeah. got the Puff, who's like one of the few with the, the really good Puff experience. Mm. Yeah, I've never really seen um, Vortex play against a Puff, but he's showing his matchup knowledge right now. Jab reset, oh. but he misses <laughs> oh the wobble, and that's going to be the... Oh, no. Well, there we go. Oh, yeah. well, he plays with a uh, 40-second a lot, so just good Puff in general. Top 100 now. Nice. Good for him. Representing Stony Brook. Cool. <laughs> I don't think I've... Uh, yeah, I've never played 42nd. I played someone in an Arcadian whose tag was like 47. Yeah, 47. Something. Yeah, 47. Because I remember I That was like one of the three times I went to Nebulous and I actually uh, played him. I think I upsetted him. Nice. There. Yeah. You know, they're they're uh, they're teams partners. Mm. Very nice. They give them that matchup knowledge. I like that. Yeah. They, well, uh, 47 and 42nd are teams partners. They go by 89. Oh, 89 because that's the sum. Yeah. Ah, I like that a lot. <laughs> All right, game two, Found of Dreams, and Vortex is already up a stock with 9%. Yeah. Uh, oh, he's going in. You saw that grab? Mm. Yeah, let's see if he can bring us back. We got Barry Troon for Tim. <laughs> he doesn't have to be biased because he's not on commentary. Yeah, he's just, he just maintaining his space outside of... Float in there and yeah. with punishing with grab and it's it's rough. Oh, oh that's a rest. Oh, all Ooh. right, very nice. He's on the board. Well, he's gonna still lose a stock for it, but at least he's on the board. You gotta think positive sometimes, and he's smiling. I like that. There's nothing fun about playing vortex. Nah. <laughs> Vortex keeping his mouth oh, open. Man. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, the fair. Oh, that was, that was pretty cool. All right. He just knew that uh, Concuss would stay in place, so he could just shark him with up air. Yeah, this is looking like a quick one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh he gets oh, he gets the oh, sing. He should have At least he got that, oh, and he just goes for the goodness. hail. He just went for the hail mary rest. That's not gonna kill. Oh yeah, he's but just trying he's to do something silly. Yeah. Oh man. That should be it. Oh no, SDI is out of it. <laughs> oh, okay, now he's just going for fancy stuff right now. Yeah, that's it. He's gonna... Oh, is he gonna disrespect... Oh! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh he fooled us all. <laughs> wow, super cool. Super cool and fun. Fun matchup. That's alright. I like Vortex for that. He's a cool guy. Alright, looks like you're playing Fish It now. Let's see if you can beat his DK. Oh, word. I played his DK before, and... I don't know. It's a DK. It's a... Is that his main, or...? <laughs> All right. So let's see how's, how it's going to go. We're in winner sem semis now, ladies and gentlemen, which means we're now best three out of five territory. Three out of five guys, right? Yep. yep. Also, Baby Bird showing off his Hawaiian shirt. Love that. I would love to go to Hawaii one day. I know I'm going to... Um, I'm actually going to the, at the Atlantis Resort in the Bahamas later this month. Can't wait for that. It's going to be awesome. I'm not sure if I'm going to ride the, the water slide that goes into the into the shark pool. But um, we'll see what happens. I might be daring. Most likely not. <laughs> All right. It looks like we got Fishy going Peach. And we got Baby Bird going as Trademark Falco. Sorry if you're hearing a little extra lip noises. I put some gum in my mouth because it helps with the acid reflux. Life tip for you guys. If you have acid reflux, choose some gum. It helps. Preferably mint. 
All right, after a little bit of a delay, we're starting game number one on Battlefield, Fish It versus Baby Bird. All right. So if I go up against Fish, I'm probably going to go against Peach. At least I'm, I prefer that to a DK, if I'll be honest. At least I'm familiar with the matchup. All right. So Baby Bird taking his time a little bit. He's keeping his distance. Going in only when he has to. Going for the double dare. Oh, power shield. Not sure if that was intentional or not, but he shields the forward smash. Now he's in a bad position. Oh, gets on the ledge just in time. That should be a punish. Oh, gets hit by the blender. Still waiting for that mod, which replaces Peach's down smash with a blender noise. Make it happen, guys. All right. Avoids the up air. That fair off stage. All right. Gets back here. He should get back on. All right. Very nice, but I'm not sure if he wanted to do that. But he gets the back air, and he takes the first stock. Sitting at very high percentage, though, so this game is still very even. There goes the, um, the fair. I mean, the forward throw. Dead even game. Fair's with a turn up, but he gets punished for it. And he just ate 40%. Oof. Oh, uh, another power shield coming out from Fishit, though. Up tilt breaks through the back air, and Wisely does not go for the fair. I think the Umbrella might have be might beat it out. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it's disjointed, though. Good shine ass shield, though. Misses the up the up air. Oh, very nice with Fishit, though. Baiting out the shield with the turn up to get the grab. And now he's getting some... He's got a chain grab. Ooh, late percent chain grabs. Back airs still on stage, though. Good retreating nares. I like those. I don't think he's worth surviving that. Nope, he's not. All right, let's see if Baby Bird can bring this back. Definitely not impossible. Far from impossible. Being very patient. Really liking this pa this patient play. Okay. I like how he tried to retreat though. Down tilt is gonna take the stock. I think that shield poked. Oh yeah, and he's wearing the tag. <laughs> oh. Yeah, for those of you seeing the tag, that looks something familiar. I'm not going to mention it. <laughs> I will say it looks like it has a smiley face, though. All right, good jabs to keep him out. Good uh, laser to down smash, though. Peach can't easily get back from this. But he screws up the recovery. And now Baby Bird's in a very good position. Two stocks and only 33%. And Fish is on his last stock for this game. All right. Oh, that's some good damage right there. 28%. He gets fared and he misses the tech, but he gets get up attack. He has get up attack. Mm. Oh, the goes for the laser reset, but Peach just flies flat on the gr flat on the ground. Oh, I, li I love that edge cancel right there. The edge cancel bear. Good laser pressure right there. Forward smash. Not going to take it. But Peach is at death percent. Another back air. will do it. Goes for the grab. Misses. Oh, does it get stuck in shine, but he gets out of it. Nair, not going to do it. Peach is off stage. One more back air. will do it. That is... Oh, no. He gets back. That was like literally the last second. That's going to take another stock, though. And now it's a one-stock game. Fishit is going to need a Gimp in order to take this game, which is... Peach can easily do to Falco. Falco is, can easily be Gimped. As good as the character he is, he has a very bad recovery, as most of us know. He's approaching with lasers and back airs. The trade. Just staying out of range. Oh, I think that was a tech flub from Baby Bird right there. He needs a little bit of percent. Not too bad, though. But he misses his opportunity to close out the game. Oh, good spot dodge, but the shine clinks with the down smash. Back air will take it. Baby Bird up 1 0. Now let's see where Fisher is going to take him. There are no bands in best of five, so let's see where he's going to take him. Oh, we got a guy in the background doing the chew dad pose. Yeah, he is. 
I approve. Oh, Vortex is doing the... Uh, I don't think that's Vortex. I have two people doing the yeah, guys. I definitely approve of that. We're going to FD game number two. You can see this benefiting both characters a little bit. It's a, it feels like it's, it'll be a little bit tougher for Peach to avoid the lasers. Here come the pillar combos, by the way. By the way. That's another thing Peach is going to have a much diff more difficult time with doing. Ooh. Nice power shield. This is showing he's doing pretty good with the power shields. Good fair. Uh, that is a potential stock. Yeah, that's... He's done. Okay. First stock going to fish it. Good back here for the turn up. Goes for the fair. Does not connect. Another power shield. I'm counting these. I think that's he's up to four now. S-Smash just takes it. Oh, Crouch Cancel Down Smash. Very nice right there. Oh, oh he gets clipped by that. I, I I, really just don't like that Down Smash. I'm just glad it got fixed. I'm, I'm going to be really with you guys. But enough of my complaining. We got Chain Grabs on FD. This is probably why he picked this stage. As he's still going. Ends it with a fair. Very nice from Fish It. Goes for the Butt Bounce. Doesn't get it. Or the Butt Bop. I like that name, the butt bop. Fair, gonna take it. And, P and Peach is sitting pretty peachy at 64%. See what I did there? Yeah, yeah, you're gonna get puns while I'm on stream, guys. Hope you love them. Uh-oh. Oh, he gets clipped. Doesn't get too much out of it. Oh, here come the chain grabs, or, well, the, the follow-ups. Here come the chain grabs, though. Hey! Hey! Alright. Still going in the fair. I mean, the, I keep calling forward throw fair. I don't know. But we got Fish It up two stocks. Counterplay and uh, counterpick definitely coming to good work and coming into play right now. Good dare, though. And he's going to get back. Alright, he's got a bit more of a bound to climb. Still doable. Peach is a very tough character to gimp, though. Being that she has some pretty broken recovery options with float and a B, but we'll see. Again, did not mean to rhyme, but just as soon as I said he gets the gimp, and now we have a dead even game. Let's see if Baby Bird can take it on Fishit's counter pick. This is suddenly very, very doable. He just has to be careful not to get grabbed. As you can see, he's he knows he doesn't need to be he can't get grabbed right now. He's being so careful with his approaches. Oh, but that forward smash is gonna get shielded and punished. But no grab though. Oh, good tech away. Oh, be careful. Luck was overextended a little bit. Oh, good spot dodge. Back throw off the stage. Don't know what hit him there, but got him down. Oh, goes for the down smash. Does not connect. Good dare to break him up. Uh-oh. This is bad. Here come the chain grabs. That's something he did not want to do. Oh, up smash! Oh, and Fish clutches it out, almost losing on his counter pick. We have a dead even set right now, one to one. If I was Baby Bird, I might go to um, Yoshi's. This is a very good stage for Falco. I don't play Falco, I don't play Peach. I actually did used to play Peach way back in the day. Not in tournament, but I was considering picking her up for a little bit. Just didn't have the courage to put her out in bracket. Fun little toucan factor for her, you guys. Still hate her, though. Perhaps that's why I dropped her. Or never continued with her. Anyway, Fish it bringing out the DK Donkey Kong. Ooh, almost gets skimped off the top with this double shine. Or triple shine, I forgot how many there were. Short-term memory loss. Good roll to avoid the grab. Don't know why he went DK. Oh, but let's see. Gets hit by the giant punch. Down smash, not gonna connect. Here comes the combos. The donkey combos. Good back air, that's gonna take it. Baby bird, sim, pretty, pretty, pretty. At 63. And he's walling him out with all these backers in the up tilt. Here we go. 
This matchup, show, he's showing this match, uh, he's showing DK, just say in mid, mid tier where you belong, or low tier, wherever you want to put him. Oh, that upbeat comes out faster than I thought. Huh. I guess I was wrong earlier where it comes out later on the ground. Huh. Learn something new every day. Oh, that should be a punch. Oh, there's not a lot of ending lag on that, too. See, guys, I'm learning a lot about this. How about you guys? That up has shield really coming in clutch right now. It's like a mini Bowser up -bee. All right. B-Bird still doing a good job. Staying at low percent on his second stock. Up, oh, here comes a combo. Up, oh, no. Up, oh, here we go. And we have a pillar. Oh, Randall messing up the edge grab a little bit. That, ooh, hoo, hoo, clap your hands. Here we go. Oh, the up misses, but he smartly goes for the ledge. Good Nair. He's off stage. Back air takes it. You see, he just went for up B, but he just hit the blast zone. And Baby Bird's still sitting very pretty. Pretty bird, I guess. I don't know. Well, that shield's getting very low. Here comes the pressure. Up tilt, gonna stop the approach though. Oh, I'm surprised that that looked like it missed the shield completely. So yeah, the DK counter pick definitely not working out this time. Back air, not gonna do it, and he doesn't come back. 2 1 baby bird. I'm assuming we're gonna probably see a switch back to Peach. Baby bird just shaking off, is like, yeah, that was a thing. And yep, he's going Peach. And we're going to Dreamland. All right, much large, open, much more open stage for Peach to work with. Ate her recovery very well. Really bad for Falco in terms of his recovery. Oh, that air dodge. Went for down smash. I, went, I guess he tried to clip him, but it didn't work out. Goes for the dare. Expecting the drift in, but it doesn't get it. Good back air right there. This is the up air though. I don't think that would have killed. Back air, that will take it. Then Nier will ca can't get him off stage though, and that fair will keep him off stage. Is that a stitch? Yeah, that was a stitch! And he loses his stock! Very unfortunate for Fisher. That just sucks when you just pull out a stitch and then you and then you just SD. Peach may have a good recovery, but it's not known for its uh, vertical height. I get punished for the down smash. Down smash is a very, very hard down, uh, very hard smash attack to punish. I think it might be one of the hardest moves to punch in the game. Hardest being shine. Good dare right there. Potential three stock for Baby Bird, and Fish It is also on his winner stock, uh, winner's life stock. Waits the get up, very nice. The e bird showing that he is a very patient bird, but he gets power shielded again for the fifth time, I think. Oh, goes for the hard read. He's got socks to do it. I don't blame him. Good back air. 
Oh, but uh, he gets punished with the grab. He goes deep, and that will be the stock. Sorry, he's got one more stock to work with. Down tilt. Barely does not kill off the top. One more should do it, though. And he's going in. Surprised he didn't go for a dare there. The up beat clips him at the ledge. And we see a rare neutral B from Peach with the Toad Spores. Poor Toad. Will you ever get into Smash? Maybe one day. But until then, Baby Bird takes a 3-1 over Fish It and sends him into the loser's bracket. Let's see who we're having coming up next. I think it's going to be me because I haven't played in a while. It's up to both players, though. And yep, I got to play Vortex. I'll see you all on the flip side. I really hope Toucan wins. Let's go, Toucan. Let's go, Ben. Let's go, Toucan. I have seen Ben or Vortex lose this matchup before. Two and Icy is worse than two can. So there's a chance. There's always a chance. Ready, hey, never mind. <laughs> you're just gonna flat camp in needles, which is, you know, what you're supposed to do. And he's also very good at this. So I don't know, it might be hard for two can. Unless Vortex does some wacky stuff that he shouldn't. Oh, I mean, no impact land on the fair. Mess him up. Well, he got a better kill off of it. Wow, what a match. Whoa, what a mash out. That up air was a little questionable, I think. That was a good, that was a good smash. I probably should have been a back air, but I don't know. I don't know if it would have killed. Yeah, uh, Toucan was too close for him to punish the punish the Anna. Yeah, he he un he understands. He's just gonna go straight for it. what the heck. Toucan killed himself, unfortunately. I think it's because uh, Vortex got the Nana before he did. Spot dodge central. The, oh no, the up tilt below plat versus characters with terrible shields is busted. I don't know if someone's actually yelling because they're getting attacked. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Vortex is doing what he's supposed to do. Not get grabbed by by hanging with the platforms. Like getting, getting a smash attack for... Ooh, that was a good read. That was nice. But getting smash attacked in the mid percent says cheek, it doesn't matter. As long as you hold up, you're not dying. Okay, I thought he was just dead, unfortunately. Man, being able to throw out more than one arrow per jump seems broken. Oh, needles. I wonder why he didn't just fair. But maybe fair. Oh, fair probably wouldn't have split him up like Nair did. Hey, this should be it, yeah. Hey, game one goes to Vortex. Ness? What? Is that real? Oh no. <laughs> okay. Thank god. That would not have been fun to watch. 
I think the classic counter pick, she trash on this stage. So just go Fox, same jump squat. Can't full hop with one character, you can full hop with the other. Man, he's just keeping 2k in the corner. Oh no. <laughs> reverse F tilt into reverse fair into 2k and killing himself. Disrespecting Fox ledge dashes are the funniest things. Cause I don't I, that grip should not have worked. Unless maybe it was like far enough away where the he knew the invisibility would run out, but I don't know. I just <laughs> Oh no. That makes this matchup that makes this very even game almost impossible to win now. I just kill Nana, never mind. Super close again. He could have. Uh, if it didn't hit him, he would have killed uh, the Soko from that recovery, but unfortunately it hit him. And once you get hit by the first hit, you're going to hit by every hit after. Ooh, nice. I wonder if that was like a reaction tech chase from more Reed. Brad? Hmm. Hey, yeah, that is he kind of screwed him over a bit, but I don't know. This is one of the stages where you can kind of go in expecting. Like, it's not the worst if you lose on this stage just because it's so hard. Hey, right. <laughs> oh my god. He just ran into a blizzard and died. <laughs> Let's go, Toucan. I want to play Icy's players. Going back to Sheik. Mm. Again, just staying on the flats, run down fares whenever he has a chance. Just the very safe play style. <laughs> I wonder why he's nearing instead of fairing. Maybe because it sends lower. But I don't think that's true. Yeah, he just has to somehow find his way through the fair jab wall. Which has, uh, oh my god. That was like a trillion smash attacks. He's gonna have to contest them somehow, but I don't know. I don't know what Icy's gonna do. Top lit too hard for them. Especially a floaty ish character who's not gonna get knocked down. They're slowly racking up percent. <laughs> that, that actually sucks. I'm surprised it uh, went to ice block so early. Oh, that super sucks. 
He didn't save Nana and killed himself. Hey, two stocks to one. You know, as long as Vortex keeps doing what he was doing, it's going to be hard for Toucan to bring this back. Because he hasn't really been able to get grabs. Oh. Mm, that was weird. I think that was a little too close to do like the blizzard walling. Just because uh, she was above and to the right. So it's pretty easy to come down when one of the S climbers can't do anything. Yeah, okay, it's still over. Got a Neil snipe. Probably Pokemon. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was going to say maybe Yoshi's, but. Might as well just go Pokemon. I'm actually kind of surprised he didn't go Sheik. Because he likes to stay just Sheik, but maybe it's just not worth it against Icy's. She'll grab on drill. Drill's not safe, kind of. And now Toucan has a lead, so I think the onus is on Vortex to actually run up to him and do something. Oh, oh. He sh I think he should have sacrificed Nana and went for a gimp. That would have been a lot better. Especially now that he's dead anyway. That, get, that game would have been so nice for him. I guess that was worth it because he probably knew what was going to happen, but I would have just wanted to kill Nana. I was always just go for the Nana trade instead. That smash just barely with. I think he's just, I don't know. I think he react do react to that, but I'm not sure. Okay, this is Toucan's winner's stock. So it's not the end of the world if he loses, but, you know, it's still doable. Two wobbles, it ain't nothing. He's trying to catch Vortex running out of the, or jump out of the corner, because he keeps doing like wave lands and jumps out of the corner, but I don't know. It's hard, because once the nice commits to covering it, the fox can just get out for free if they didn't do anything. Oh. Nah, it's... It's over short of a miracle. And it's over. Hey, I think I'm up to play maybe or not. I don't know. No? Word. Okay, right, cool. And I'm still here. Fish it versus Koopa. Is this semis? Oh, this is quarters? What's the other side? Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, so Fisher Kubikev. 
I wonder if he's going to go DK or not. I think he's probably going to go Peach. No, there's no one. There's no one here. I mean, there's no SVU people. I expected I expected to have a, uh, a parade of people shouting my names down the hall. What? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Did I miss anything? You want to eat it, kind of. All right, sick. Did I miss anything? I won. Winner's semis. What? I'm in finals against Ben. Ooh, okay. I was really hoping he would lose, but as you could see, he didn't. Yes. So now I'm winning for, I'm assuming the ne next two quarters matches to be over, and then I'll play. I'm really, really hoping that Koopa Kev doesn't make it to losers finals. Yeah. Because he's the person I'm most afraid of because I hate Fox players. Same. Imagine so, that. As long as a Fox doesn't make it to me, I mean, well, I mean, Ben can just play Fox. His Fox is bad versus <laughs> Falco two years ago, so it's probably so bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he, he has not played any Melee in the past two years. <laughs> I don't know, I'm hot off of a... Well, not, not, I think it was like a month ago, okay. my last tournament. <laughs> I beat a Fox. I, I beat four, a four Fox. Point oh, right? yeah. yeah. I beat a Fox player. Did you? Who'd you beat? Uh, Jonathan. Oh, you beat Venti? Yeah. Okay, word. So that's good. Yeah, but he's he's not a, he's not a normal fox player. Oh. <laughs> Me and him both play face spaces a lot differently oh, okay, than most word. people, I would say. I've heard a lot more about uh, your your Falco <laughs> and the uh, dark past. I did have a dark past. <laughs> I miss it. It was pretty fun. No, don't but do that. Luigi. No, no. What ta what's your tag? Oh, tag. Oh, Leon. Sorry, I heard what character do you play? I don't <laughs> know how. Oh, so he's actually going DK. Ooh, okay. I think this matchup is a lot better than DK Falco because no, no there's lasers. no dare, and there's also no dare. So no lasers and no dare just makes this a lot easier because he can SCI out of a uh, drill. Oh, that was nice. He can SCI out of drill because like, yeah. if his shield pokes, and if you get shield poked by an air, I mean, that's gonna that's just gonna happen a lot because of DK. Yeah, shield is uh, questionable. Oh my God, that did 13%. <laughs> That's, yep, well, that's oh my god, he could have, I think Fishit might have been able to like suicide kill, oh, right. well he's going to do that instead. Well, <laughs> I mean that's worth it though, he's what, that's like, what? super worth yeah, it. Yeah, boy, 130 or something? That was yeah. super worth that's it. That's sick. Um, uh, he could have teched it, Oof. but. We don't, we don't say that word around here. We don't say that? Yeah. Oh no. Oh yeah, and also, a very unfortunate thing for Fox's matchup, again, it's still Fox favorite, but. Yeah. Uh, if Drill hits. If it's in the stale queue, then uh, Drill won't be safe on shield and can always be shield grab. Really? I believe. I feel like that's all DK wants. That might be a lie, because I think that's a Falco Shiner shield thing. Huh. That's a little bit faster. Yeah. But, but I mean, if the DK gets the shield grab, that's like a great, hopefully a great punish. You know, Especially just, with like a triplat, you can get so many like regrabs and stuff. You know, the DK's just looking for grabs. Yeah. And also, uh, the uppy is super good at a shield. That's why I can't stand DK, it's all about grabs. That's every character, except for my cool character. Yeah, okay. If Falco doesn't get anything off Crab. I mean, <laughs> he gets some things, but he doesn't get DK up throw up air yeah. combos. Or he doesn't get like, you know, five up air strings yeah. or whatever. He gets forward throw into half stage position. <laughs> nice. I wonder there, oh yeah, there's a chain grab yeah, there's, too. Yeah, there's, yeah. A, there's a super chain grab. And he's trying to DI off stage, but... It's just not possible. <laughs> He's Ooh. too large. Damn. It's cool when like mid tier players are actually good and know yeah, percents imagine, and stuff. Imagine being good. <laughs> like, but he knows his percents and stuff. Mm. It's like he knew that the uh, cargo off throw would lead the F smash. Gotcha. Because he was like, Kubikev kept the eyeing off stage, so he didn't turn around that one time because he knew it would lead the F smash. So much knowledge, man. Yeah. How long has Fish been playing for? Do you know? A while. A while. He was at a point in time, and still potentially, best DK in the world. I mean, the Green Ranger is like not active, right? I no, he's not active, yeah. and I don't know who's better between the two in the first place. Mm -hmm. I mean, if he's like actually coming back and not just here to fuck around, then <laughs> like yeah, he definitely could be. But Fishit is help. He's been playing for a while. Actually, wait, no, there's that DK player that like took a game off Pluck. Do you remember that? Oh, that two two trend. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I remember his name. 
Oh, actually, yeah, I, it sounds like Fortran, oh. that's why. <laughs> <laughs> that was a sick combo while we were saying useless garbage. Yeah. I wonder why he down threw. Maybe, like, up throw stuff might not be guaranteed, but you can, like, up throw shark, and down throw tech chasing is kind of difficult. Wow! He just did it. And it got, like, a... Wow, he just dash tagged on purpose. Yeah. That's crazy. And it hit. <laughs> it did hit. And it, he could have followed up, too. Hey, that was supposed to be enough smash. Oh, DK or Fox? That wasn't... Wow. Ooh. Uh, DK. He did a up throw dash attack. When he probably oh, tried to do okay. up throw smash. Running up smash, yeah. Yeah, or something dash tag. Mm -hmm. um, just DK wow, what is happening? It's a lot of short hop there. It auto cancels, right? Uh, DK's? Yeah. Yes, it does. Damn. He, need, he needs it. Yeah, he, he does, yeah. It is his counter pick and everything, too. Like. Yeah, this is a... I don't know. It feels like flat stages aren't too... <laughs> <laughs> that was... <laughs> that was interesting. Is that the, trade with Shine? Oh, uh, yeah, Clank. Yeah. I, I feel like I the side B wouldn't have buried him for long anyway because he was so low, but it's unfortunate that Clanked. But yeah, against DK, I feel like... Uh, platforms would be better just because... On like the flat stages, he has like crazy combos. Oh and yeah, chain grabs and up stuff. air becomes like so much better when you have platforms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, he just walks Aww. into the middle for the chain grab. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> you could just get positioning for any grab. That's so funny. Yeah. Well, a lot of people don't even try and mash out though, because it's weird. Like yeah, it's weird to think about mashing out after you get changed. Like he like does cargo throw, which is like a weird animation. I don't know. Don't you just like go up or something when you mash out? I don't remember. Uh, in this game, oh, oh, oh boy. Oh man. That was that was quick. Three uh, stock. Yeah, three second is counterfeit too. Yeah. Yeah, I would definitely go to a shorter stage. Maybe like FOD, FOD Yoshi's. Yeah. Well, I feel like Yoshi's DK can kill Fox off the top. He can, but so can Fox. And yeah, yeah. Arguably a lot easier, so that's true. Oh so yeah, he did go Yoshi's. You know, but the thing is, even if he wins his game, there's gonna be some trouble because he's gonna have to go to FD, mm -hmm. like at least twice. Well, not at least twice, but maybe twice. Possibly three or even four times. <laughs> and Fish's other character, even if like the DK doesn't work out on FD, which it probably will do at least fine, because DK yeah. has some nice stuff on that. But he still has Peach, also has an insane chain grab and lives forever. So. <laughs> True. Uh, he took a game off you with Peach, right? Uh, yes, he did. He beat me on FD. Yeah, I, I saw like the ending of that. That stage is impossible. Falco loses to every floaty. Falco cannot combo floaties on that stage. All he can do is win neutral really hard. That's true. <laughs> I mean, I feel like if you just if you fish it, can just counter pick Peach FD against Basie's like it's the same idea. You're just going for the chain grab. Well. It is, but... I mean, it's going DK on FD, I mean. I feel like... I don't know. I mean, obviously, Peach is better. And Peach is better, but, like, but... They both lose neutral... Con at least against Falco. They lose neutral really hard. Uh huh. And against Fox, they both lose neutral pretty hard. And maybe he's just... I don't know. It might just be better to go DK on FD against at least Fox. What the He's frick? just fucking good. That Look was at this so guy. Sick. <laughs> I don't think I've ever he's seen Dami in a combo. Up. Oh, oh, my God. Oh! oh. Yeah. Oh, he. I think oh. he meant to turn around. Oh, where he like wiggled a little bit there. Yeah, I think yeah. he just like didn't turn around, unfortunately. Damn. Because if he turned around, he could have done LP. But it, I mean, like it's still going. Oh yeah, yeah. that was a good short. That was a good short. Go. God, DK's get up attack is actually pretty good. Oh, uh, from ledge. Yeah. Yeah, yeah under so a ledge get up. Under a hundred, it's like. Oh my god. Oh, that's a Oh my okay. god. He just got obliterated Jesus. from the other side of you. That was at 70. But yeah, DK's get up attack is broken. Mm -hmm. It's like Bowser's, except worse. Yeah, but Bowser's is fucking amazing, so. <laughs> that punch, though. Holy shit. Yeah, that punch. He just does it, like, as a get off me option. Well, you know? yeah, because like, if you think a fox is going to run at you, right? Mm -hmm. You might as well just toss. Oh, the bowling. Oh. <laughs> I guess, but like I always thought it was typically like, you know, use that at the end of combos after up throw or up, up air or something. Yeah, but I don't know. It's like, it's one of those things like you just, like Mars will do F smash in neutral, uh, Spaces will do F smash or up smash in neutral. Is it it's actually that big? Well, his is huge. And his, I could be wrong, because I know his up B 
has invincibility on his arm, but for Donkey Punch, his fist might be invincible, but that could just be a lie. Oh, damn. Okay. That could be a lie. I mean, he was doing the same shit against me yeah. in when I played him, so, like... Damn. Yeah, he def... Well, there's that, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> no fox for you. Or no more foxes in the bracket. J-Lo. J-Lo? <laughs> Let's go J-Lo. Let's go J-Lo. This is, okay. No bias here, no bias. This is a matchup I have witnessed many times at Stony Brook. J-Lo versus, versus, versus Tech 9. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has made Tech 9 believe that Yoshi's destroys Icy's. I mean, I couldn't tell you a single thing about the matchup, so... I could tell you many things about the matchup. <laughs> okay. Down tilt? Oh. Kills Nana at the ledge no matter that's what. That's true. Fair? Yeah, Nana's gonna double jump into that. Yeah, Nana double jumps into it, but even if she's on the stage, she gets down tilt and she de she's dead. <laughs> you can exalt the ledge. Kinda uh -huh. hard for Icy to beat it. Uh, you have uh, armor, so if you're just on the platforms, which Yoshi's Yoshi, gonna black yeah, Yoshi's gonna do that. What else is he gonna do? You have double jump armor to go through all their pokes onto the platforms. Like up air and stuff? Yeah, mm -hmm. up air and back air, you can you can go through it. As long as, well, back air is a maybe because if the hit is strong enough, the first hit's strong enough, it'll break him out. Mm. Uh, it counts as two separate hits then, so it doesn't like... Yeah, it's technically two different hits because it's like nano popo. Yeah. And then... But like, Sopo's never going to break the armor. Yeah, by himself, no way. Yeah. And then... uh. <laughs> if you neutral B them, like you uh, turn Nana into an egg, mm -hmm. she cannot get out. <laughs> she cannot That's wiggle out. That's fucking hilarious. I, I need to see that now. So I understand all the, the reasons why Icy's hate this matchup. Yeah. But it's still Yoshi. It is Yoshi. Who can't get out of shield. Yeah, wait. So I feel like Yoshi will get shield grab more because, you know, yeah, without a shield options, they're not really there. Well, the thing is you're just not going to shield. That's like you, you only shield on platforms. Oh, like you should okay. only shield on platforms. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah, he's Jayla's going just, for it. Yep. Just going for By the edge. Because if, if you hit Nana in that, she just actually just dies. She just falls <laughs> up stage and dies. <laughs> that's hilarious. Hey, that's one. Ooh. Yep. What was that? He, he fared, right? Uh, he whipped I, a fair, I think. I was looking at you, to be oh, honest. Okay. I appreciate it. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> if he can somehow get... Oh... If you can somehow get like the ice climber shields low enough, you can just repeatedly shield poke the mm -hmm. the ICs. But it's kind of hard without like a good projectile that can use on the ground. Uh, yeah, you're not gonna like egg when they're near you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, alright, nice. You gotta have a shield, which is good. Nice. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you couldn't follow up because two was there to cover. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a that's a dead yeah. climber. Yeah. Nice. And he gets the F smash. Take stage two. Yep. Let's go JLo. Oh. <laughs> the slow walk. Let's yeah, I know. Go. <laughs> he knows he has fans out there. Oh, he just missed. Oh no, he just he keeps missing. He's going for it a lot though. He got a reverse down tilt, which I've never seen. Popo. Oh yeah, and that's reverse another thing. Down. Oh. Yeah, like even if you get Popo, they go. He goes super far away. So. You can separate them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Separates well. Nice. Down smash separates well too. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's got a good trajectory. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Popo has zero percent on him. Essentially. Okay, that that should be a dead. Eye. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> nice. Ooh. Oh, well. oh no. I mean, I don't know. I was. I think that's kind of a worth it trade because Ices was so it's such a low percent that like, if Nana did get back on, it'd be trouble. Because if they killed you before you killed Nana, then you'd be in a bad spot. Mm, that's true. Mm. Oh grab. yeah. I mean, this makes sense. I mean, it would make sense that Ice has a chain grab on him. I mean, how is Yoshi like a mid mid gravity? I honestly don't know what to call it. Like, uh, I mean, you know, you know what I mean, right? Yes, closer to Sheik and Marth than he is to Spacey's or Peach. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. So he's like basically right in the middle. Yeah. The thing is, I don't know. This is gonna be a really hard stage. Now, now that I'm realizing it, because. Jayla keeps going for up air kills hmm. off of things. That's so, not going to kill for a while. Yeah, it's not going to kill forever. So if he doesn't kill off of Nair, I mean... Or that. Yeah. All right, there we go. But like, uh... Even game. 
out of like out of fair he would go for up airs and which isn't that's just not gonna kill on this stage. Oh, edge canceled there, that's cool. Oh, that was that was smart. So Jalo's recognizing that he's doing like wave dash without shield like, to approach after certain whiffed aerials. Okay. Oh, I, there we go. That, see, yep. Ice is I'm gonna manage this dead. Good stuff for Jalo. <laughs> the damage. But yeah, when Icy is wave dash forward, Nana's in front, so if you uh, neutral B, you always use Nana. Oh, okay. You could wave dash forward and lick. Well, yeah, yeah. Or uh, you can just like stay in place because their wave dash is so long. <laughs> he's just he's plat camping into gulp. <laughs> I feel kind of bad. I moved the gamer chair, and no one's moved it back. So ever since, <laughs> fuck man. Ever since I moved the chair, no one else has used it, and I don't know. You're depriving us gamers of our seating <laughs> <Yeah>. needs. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really like the the fancy chairs. To me, it feels wrong. I've, I've been playing on plastic chairs my whole life. <laughs> yeah. No, they they feel really nice. To no, me. they're like the sit-in daily would be <laughs> they would be great. Yeah. But my uh, irrational. Falco main. Yeah, my irrational Falco main thoughts <laughs> force me to not play on it. Oh, oh, nice. Hey, no, no. I feel like okay. No. What? Uh, oh, shit. That was. I thought it, I thought that was last stock. So never mind. Okay. Oh yeah, I know he's got one more. Is the thing in front of you? No, it's not. I just oh, okay. just blind. Blind, yeah. But you know, he like went for a. He went for Popo when he could have went for Nana one time. That should kill. Oh my god. I completely... Nana's got lots of damage on her now, though. Like, I... that, that's dead Nana, probably. Unless he, like, goes off there. I wonder if that egg was on purpose. Oh, no! No! I, I kind of want to just play Devil's Advocate here and root for Toucan. You don't have to. Oh, dude, what the heck? No! Oh, no! Ooh. You hate to see that happen. That was... That was super committal. That sucks. I mean, he what? He 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 tongued and then he wave dash well, back. Well, no, he tongued, but he did it a little too high, so he couldn't. So, hey, he tongued too high, so when he he missed, landed on the ground, it just got insane landing lag. Uh huh. Yeah, it was unfortunate. All right, we got the SBU try commentary going on. <laughs> uh, want me to move over? Okay, nothing. That was super unfortunate. It really was. Yeah, he yeah. he went for like a tongue grab, and just like was a little bit above Toucan, so he landed in front of Toucan with insane landing lag. Just like wave dash forward. Wobble. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Me three. <laughs> Playing jails with Lincoln PM. The days. Oh. Oh, Nana! Yeah, see, so yeah, funny. Nana just can't get At out. Zero two, she's in there for like four seconds. Cause uh, the computers don't wall a uh, mash. That's so sad. My wall. This is kind of a destruction of a first stock. Uh. What? Oh, uh, the uh, yeah. Oh, oh! I'm sorry. This stage, if he hits an up air, it'll kill. Oh yeah. Or yeah, or crouch canceled. I love crouch canceling. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and also, you can also just do in a trillion damage to her in the shell anyway, so it's like... With what, like dare and stuff? Yeah, dare back here. Mm. Oh yeah, back here is multi yet too. Yeah, it is. The Ultimate Yoshi's animations are so weird. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Like... They just seem very bizarre to Oh, me. excuse me? Ultimate is weird? Well, yes, but, you know. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He's actually gotten a lot of percent off of Falling Dare. Yeah, it's been working out. Wow. He's hit, like, what, three or four? Yeah, it's, it's kind of crazy. I mean, there's two of them. <laughs> there are two Insightful of them. Insightful commentary. <laughs> How can Yoshi win against two characters? There's two of them. I don't know. What? I know I wouldn't, but I was like, oh, I'm actually going to have to not just short hop at him repeatedly. 
And I think game three, the first thing I did was just kill myself. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. <laughs> kind of PM. <laughs> Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a yeah, man. Since, uh, about a year ago, actually. No one could say or spell my old tag, so. Oh, yeah. Lurks, I forgot. It's a good tag, but. <laughs> if you don't have to talk. So wrong. You do not have to talk to me about good tags that people misspell. I had a grit. I had a. Gr don't say that. I had a great tag, but no one could spell it, so I changed it. Oh, really? Okay, I've never heard about this. Don't worry about it. Okay. Because <laughs> Baby Bird's good, too. I'll just ask Kevin or somebody. Yeah, that works. Despite the... Oh, my gosh. No. Despite the amazing first stock, Toucan brought it back. A couple wobbles. Oh, yeah, I was rooting for Toucan versus you. You rooted for Adam versus me. <laughs> you rooted for Fishit versus me. No, you rooted against Fishit versus me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. He won game two and he popped off. Oh, wasn't he? Up smash. Up up smash. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> J Lo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You want to brace for impact? You want to lose? Wait. What was that? <laughs> Can I get a top 100 win, please? I have Jake wins three years ago. <laughs> oh, Jake. <laughs> I have. He really does. Oh god, no. <laughs> oh someone no. Call, someone call an ambulance. That was a sick punish. Good punish game. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. See, now it's even. Yeah, basically. There's only one of them. Now it's a fair fight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one does that. 100% of my actual constructive criticism and commentary is they should grab blood. Which I also don't do. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think that should be death. He yeah. grabbed ledge. He did, but I mean, I can side B. Might as well. Oh my god, damn it. I don't understand how Yoshi players always keep their jumps. Uh, because it's the only thing they got. They actually have no other options other than to wait to use their jump to the last possible moment. I feel like he should have went banana, but. There was a setup there. Against. I don't know if it's actually true against Yoshi if they DI in. At least lower percents because he can just jump out. Probably. Yeah, because I was going to say, like. Down throw? No. Oh, 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 okay. I see what you're saying. But I was saying maybe off the down throw you can wiggle out jump aerial. So the down. No, well, you can't. I mean, even if you just jump, you have armor. Does it not start right away? Well, you wouldn't be able to jump out before the dare. Is what Ben's saying. Hmm. Ooh, that was risky. Wow, that was lame. Oh, uh, uh, can I grab from behind? It's silly. I mean, it's still silly. But I don't know if I'd rather him have a real. Ooh, there's no, cool. no. I don't know if I'd rather him have a real grab though. Wow. <laughs> I'm trying to. <laughs> I was really mad when I heard you were here. <laughs> he wanted the W. Like despite the si like besides the oh I get to see my friend part, I was like heck. I don't. 
Yeah. I'm a washed up Falco player. Oh, you're washed? Yeah, I'm washed. Still was so confident until he heard you were coming. Extremely confident, I think, were his words. Yeah. <laughs> It, it's definitely the Dylan personality. It was unfortunate. I mean, I'm in winners finals. I don't think so. I mean, I might be. Yes. Yes. Well, I think is I lose the Kubu Kev like every time. That's it. But I'm. Fox is a dumb character. When was the last time we played him? Uh, the last time I was here and he was here. Oh, okay. I don't like know when that was, though. Ish? It was, like, it was recent enough. Mm -hmm. It was probably over the winter. Okay. Oh, we're playing. All right. Fantastic. Have fun, you guys. I'll try. I know. <laughs> I am. None of my... None of the... Are we doing an Icy's Ditto, really? Okay, thank you. <laughs> oh, all the stuff I could talk about the Icy's Ditto, how horrible it is. <laughs> anyway, we got Baby Bird and Vortex. And uh, Winners. Uh, what is? What round is this? This is Winners Finals. Oh my god, Baby Bird made it all the way to Winners Finals. Good for him. Okay. Looks like we're going found game one. Sheik versus Falco. All right, really good start for uh, Baby Bird so far. Two. Oh, very nice combo right there. Gets back on. They still get the the punch game is still going on right now. Oh, didn't get the backer, but the down tilt will just take it, and he gets the taunt. Oh, the disrespect coming out from Baby Bird. All right, but Vortex is starting to fight back on, a little bit on his own. Oh, that shield is getting kind of low. Almost Skittle-sized. I love Skittles. All right, now he's fighting back. Oh, he fares him out of the Phantasm. Nice words. And he gets the return taunt. <laughs> you got it. It's like, you, you do it to me, I'm going to do it to you. Yeah, that's pretty much how a lot of people go. go. That's how I do it. You taunt yeah. against me, I'm going to taunt against you. All right. Well, Baby Bird still has the lead right now. Good light shield by Vortex to avoid that uh, follow-up, though. Hit back air, but good DI. Oh, what is that hitbox with the fair? Uh-oh, this is bad. Oh, he pays for that. 
And just like that, Vortex turns it around. Oh, I guess clipped by the needles. Good back air. I don't think he has... Well, he had a jump, I think. Back air. Soft back air, I should say. Another back air. Just takes it. Didn't think that would kill. We got a dead even game. Oh, he downs. He spot dodges, but. Oh no! Not the SD! Not against. Not, when you're going up against a player such as Vortex, you cannot SD like that man! Oh no! Okay. I mean, he is fighting back, but that's, that just changes everything! Oh, gets hit by the Vanish off stage. No shine, and he SDs again! Okay. Alright, Baby Bird has to shake that one off. He's, he's smiling. I think he's shaking it off. Uh, the both players are smiling. Oh, the flubs. And Vortex coughs. I don't think that was a taunt. And he switches to Fox. We're going to FD. I don't blame him for this counter pick. Alright, the shine pressure is on with Baby Bird. But so was the back here is coming for Vortex. Good recovery by Baby Bird right there. But he's going to get punished. Here come the chain grabs. Back air. And another SD. Oh. Baby Bird's a little bit too trigger heavy on those side Bs. I'm pretty sure he, he wants... He I mean, he's going for angles, but he's just not hitting them right. Okay. Okay, that was pretty sick right there. Pretty sick combo right there from Baby Bird. Fights back. He's like, yeah, I'm just shrugging off those SDs. Here come the chain grabs. Four. Oh, misses it. Get us, uses the get up attack. Dare to, misses. He goes high. Oh, gets snuffed out by the by the near. The, the dash attack gets punched by the grab. Oh, no shine. I'm a little bit surprised. There's the shine. That's gonna take a stock. All right, here we go. All right, punishes. Down air text this time. Does not go that far off the ledge. Nice forward tilt right there. Oh. Punches the get the get on and the get up on the get on option. But it gets him back on stage. Good back air. Takes it. Very nice. We gotta have a dead dead even game. But here comes the punish. Oh, it's still going. Good shine stall. Oh, the suicide dare! Very nice by baby bird. Full player smiling right now. This is last stock. That was actually very smart. Uh-oh. He's off stage, but he's back on. Uh-oh. Oh, gets back on. Good clip with the side B. And now, oh, good neutral regain. All right, nice. Very nice coming out from Baby Bird. Oh, gets clipped. There's a trade that's going to reset neutral, but the back air is going to take it. Yes, it will. It will. Baby Bear will take game number two. Vortex throws a little tantrum right there. <laughs> I'm sure that was a bit of a joking tantrum, but whatever. And we're going back to Sheik. And we're going to Yoshi's. This stage benefits both of this, these characters, if I'm being honest. She can camp, but Falco can do some good pillar combos, such as one right now. Oh, oh no dare. That's some good combos, though. Baby Bird is doing such a good job right now with the with this pressure. Oh, no, Vortex SDs. I mean, Baby Bird's in the lead in terms of SDs, but that still is pretty big. Down smash clips him through the shine. The needle will clip his recovery though, and we got an even game. Okay, here comes the tech chase. Oh, the shy guys delay the up smash enough where Baby Bird can get up. Here we go. Okay. These players are going at each other like animals right now. Oh, he mi the side B gets clipped by the forward tilt. Sheik's forward tilt being a very powerful neutral tool. 
good down smash. Good option at the ledge right there. I like that idea. Here comes the punch. Another down smash, and he gets the good hit. He gets the right hit. He's sending him off stage. Down tilt. Just going to take it at 121. And we got a de another dead even game. This is, oh, I'm loving this set so far, guys. Okay, no falling gear this time. That probably would not have killed, and that probably would have cost him a stock right there. Okay, down smash right there. Clips his recovery with a neutral air. And he just dies. Alright, let's see what Baby Bird can do to bring it back. Alright, he's got the pressure going on right now. Oh, gets clipped by the uh, Shino stall. He gets hit by needles. Punishes with Nair. Okay, no forward, forward smash. I mean, up smash does not connect. Here comes the punish. Good dare right there. And he gets back. Very nice. This is still doable for Baby Bird. He's still it's at 87% right now. He's got to be careful, though. He is off stage. Back air. He can still come back from this. Oh, no. He gets the wrong angle. And Vortex is up 2-1. Baby Bird could have gone back from that. But that angle, to be fair, uh, to be in his defense, is a very tricky angle. Even the pros have a tough time with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Practice, practice, practice. All right, going to game number three on Pokemon Steam. I like this for Falco. More laser camping, less platform, so she can't camp as much. All right, here we go. Here come the check chases. Here they come. There's number two. Jab reset, but he gets out of it with the shine. Very smart. Good dare right there to the back air. Oh. Yeah, you can hit Sheik's Needles with attacks. It's very weird in this game. And delay. I think it steals your move, too. I don't know, though. But either way, Baby Bird is up one stock at 75% right now. But he's going to get punched for that air dodge. But he lands on the other side of the stage, so he's still good. All right, no punish on the dash attack, though. Very nice shine grab, though. Gets him out of his shield. That shield is going, looking very small, though. And he's off stage. That will be a stock right there. Good back air from Vortex to seal it up. Ooh, the fair combo. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at that. Punishing the crouch cancel with a grab. Very smart coming out from Vortex. Good back air. Dare, that does it. Wham, bam. Wham, bam, kablam. <laughs> oh, gets back. I thought he had a jump, to be honest. I think he just went for the side D. Very smart in that case. Unfortunately, he does lose the stock right there. Both players are having a good time. They're smiling at each other. I love this. This is good melee, ladies and gentlemen, where you have, have fast-paced action, and both players are enjoying it. You can tell that they're enjoying themselves. I know I enjoyed my last set, and you can see that these two are enjoying themselves right now. That is good melee. Oh, we got the daddy laser right there. Good wave shines, though, to down tilt. Oh, look at this. Follow-ups. All right, he gets back. Punishes the dare, though. He's going to... Oh, no. Messes up the angle. And Baby Bird on his winner's, to winner's side life right now. But so is Vort... Uh, but... Oh, no. Vortex is not. Oh, excuse me, guys. All right, we got a last stock situation. Baby Bird fighting for his winner's life right now. Oh, that down smash, I'm pretty sure was a missed input right there. Good China shield, though. Still anyone's game. He runs away to laser. Here come the back airs. Oh, gets clipped with the forward air. Oh, no. Offstage, this could be it, ladies and gentlemen. Recovers high. He's not getting back from that. That is going to do it. Vortex cleanly. Three ones, Baby Bird. Good shit to both players, though. Baby Bird put up one hell of a fight. Good shit to you, Baby Bird. <laughs> and both players enjoy each other. I know I'm enjoying myself right now. Looks like I'm going up against Fisher right now. Let's see how I do against this Peach or DK. Peace, guys.
frick, Sheik. Sheik sucks. Oh, it's going to be Icy's Peach. It'd be pretty fun to watch Icy's DK, but I think there's zero chance he's going to use that. Is there any SBU in chat? Because I'm assuming some of you watch that set because you all like to watch me lose. I'm not in the chat yet, so please don't say anything until I'm there. I'm here. Hello. Hey, this is gonna be Icy's Peach, which I'm not expecting. I don't know. I don't know. I've never seen them play, but I'm assuming it goes how Peach Icy's goes, which is oh, that was a sick combo though. Which goes fair down, fair, fair, float, fair, float, fair, float. However, Fish did down smash a decent amount, like when uh when people were chilling. So who knows? Yeah, my tag used to be kinematic. You know, like kinematic equations? Yeah, no one knew how to spell it, so I was like, freak. And then someone someone in like a Westchester, a Neo JPO, he called me Baby Bird in like a chat, so I made that my tag. Because it's way better. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty nice. Wait, oh, I missed two can't take in the first stock. I really hope he doesn't win. Not because, again. What, my tag? I. Dude. Wait, no. <laughs> Pat, no. I'm, I'm like, in case anyone says anything in the chat, I'm here. But no one says anything. I, Pat, Pat is watching. But yeah, I really hope Fisher wins. I don't want to play in ICs. And that's the only reason. Uh, you don't beat Jab and F-Tilt. Rick. Jab and F-Tilt are broken? Uh, I can move my stuff. That looks good. <laughs> are you able to pull up the chat? Oh, I have it. Oh, you have it? Okay, phone. never mind. Never mind. Actually, yeah, let me... I'm at 8%. Can I just look at your phone? Yeah. Sick. Uh, hey. Pat's the only person talking. He said hello. What's good, Pat? Enjoying the summer nights? That's not the summer nights. <laughs> he was talking about the summer nights. Yeah, I know. Oh, Ooh, my okay. lord. I wonder what he was trying to do. Yo, who's... Pilp, I've heard about your net play. Pilp? Uh. The Samus player. I've heard about him on Netplay. I think he's been here him. before. Huh. But it's a mystery. <laughs> Have you ever gone to a, like a, a Rockland local? Yeah, I've never heard of this guy. Because those locals don't exist anymore, but they did for like two weeks, and it was cool. <laughs> You guys did not have a place or not enough people or uh, both? A little bit of both. Like, I don't know. The one place we did have was kind of bad, but yeah, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> so I feel like if like you know you and Jake and Austin were there full time, yeah. I'm sure there'd probably be a bigger scene. Well, but I don't know. Rockland actually has like good players. Yeah, I mean you three. Well, there's also two, two Saint, Saint. Kami, who's like two Saints practice Night partner. Nightwing's there, right? Nightwing's there, yeah. Chess used to be there, mm -hmm. and there's like. And there's a bunch of like also like pretty decent people too, which is okay. cool. Like it's actually a pretty healthy region for being the middle of nowhere. Well, yeah, it is the middle of nowhere. According to Long Island, the middle of nowhere. Dude, according to Long Island, this is the middle of nowhere. <laughs> so, I know. It's insulting. Long Island sucks. It does. I'm free. <laughs> you are free. free. Lucky you, dude. I never have to live there ever again. <laughs> Thank you. you can be a city boy for the rest of your days. Yeah, all fish has to do is just fair and like 
Oh, oh yeah, wow. he's got Peach. Yeah, this is... Uh, that was... That was like a really ballsy down smash, and it worked. Because he was floating all, He was like floating in the air. Mm. It, like, yeah, that's not going to hit normally, right? No. Yeah, no way. I wonder if he... I don't know. That was probably an accident. Well, I mean, Fisher just has to... Not take damage. I mean... Oh! Oh, oh, oh shit! damn. Wow. Two K with a little pop off. I mean, that's not a fun matchup. <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely not. But the wave dash and up smash is really good versus uh, float in general. Uh huh. Yeah. Just because normally the float heights. Oh yeah. Will be I, I do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. My invincible head and whatnot. Yeah, but his is bigger. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oof. That was good. I feel like down smash at the ledge just, just like separates these climbers so easily. Like one goes one direction, yeah. one goes the other. And the thing is with Icy, uh, with Nana, it's the same thing with Falcon and Ganon. Where if you down smash them, they're facing away from the ledge. So like Nana can't grab ledge anymore, and Falcon mm. and Ganon can't down B, or else they just die. Oh yeah. Okay. Damn. Fuck Peach, dude. Yeah, I know. Peach is so lame. Word. There's only one cool character. Luigi. You know, I was, I was just, I was gonna say yeah, and then just leave it at that. But then you, you said Luigi, but like now I can sympathize with that. I don't know, I don't know why people hate on Luigi, honestly. I mean, I do, but I, I, I feel like it. out of all the characters to hate on, He's why are you picking on fucking Luigi, <laughs> man? Like, Luigi is there are better characters with similar lameness. Oh, that was good. That was good, yeah. Yeah, but Luigi's, I don't know, Luigi's like a bad character who does gimmicky things, so you never play against him in the first place. It's so like when you do play him, you have no idea what to do. Yeah. The thing is, like, people complain, but, like, you can still just beat him, you know? Mm -hmm. I wonder if you're supposed to pull turnips in this matchup. I feel like you're not. I don't know. I, I could be wrong. I don't know. I mean, it's nice to have a projectile Ooh. against them, of course. I wonder, Ooh, that was, I wonder if down smash normally covers that, or if that was, like, a did it slowly type thing. Yeah, I don't know. The down smashes are like super risky until Nana shield is low enough. Because mm -hmm. I don't know, he keeps doing like aerial down smash and it's not poking. But fortunately, aerial down smash. Well, you know, aerial into oh, down smash. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, but it's not poking. So if it doesn't poke, that's like you can get just get grabbed off. Of it. Yeah, you, you can easy wobble. Yeah. I mean, if it does connect though, like even one hit will just send one of them flying. Well, right? yeah, one hit sends one of them flying, but I don't know. There's like the there's like a period of time where you like, can tell, oh, Icy Shields are down. Or like, Nana Shield will get poked here. Mm -hmm. Just after like a certain amount of percent. Yeah, that was good. He just waited for Nana to come by. Someone playing music? Yeah, someone's bumping something right it's now. A little, it's a little bassy. I don't know. I can't really hear it. I feel the vibrations. <laughs> that was, that He's was got it. a good lead right now. Yeah, he does. Oh, okay. Oh, that'll lead to 24. Well, it did a the lot Nana more than damage, Nana, yeah. yeah. Hey, well, so that's Nana dead, right? All right, yeah, this game's... Very difficult now. Yep. Zero percent Peach. On Dreamland. With two stocks. <laughs> With a stock to spare, yeah, I guess just Sopo. Oh. Uh, if two can bring this back, though, he's actually a god. Yeah. But it's gonna be hard. Did you see a... Uh... That's why he would be a god if he brought it back. <laughs> I guess you're right. Did you see Koopa Kev versus 2 Can game 2? Was I here for that? Like, was I on commentary? I don't I think so. But it was I a three-stock comeback, and he was about to win, but then SD uh, Koopa Kev oh, did. It was man. really unfortunate. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's game. I think I saw game one of that, but not game two. Yeah. All right, yeah, I should really go. Oh, you got to go? Yep. Nice. Right, see ya. All right, have a good night, dude. Have a fun drive home. The game crashed? You're not you're not on anymore. The game freaking crashed. It's a GameCube too, which is weird. <laughs> See ya. I'm actually so excited for Defend the North. Cause I wanna go. Cause I wanna enter uh I wanna enter Tekken and Unist. I don't even know if I'm going to enter melee if I go.
This is an interesting counterpick because my Peach friends talk about how, like, they think this is a, like, in Peach's favor, or at least, like, neutral, and not really as a one sided as most FD matches, up, matches are for ICs. Oh, Beam Sword? I feel like, I don't know. It's like a trap to use the Beam Sword. Yeah, I would just get rid of it. Yeah, because if you toss it, it's like incredibly strong. Dude, you should go to defend the North Pet. It's going to be sick. Uh, you can enter. There's probably going to be. I don't know if there's Guilty Gear, but it wouldn't surprise me. But if you go and there is Guilty Gear, there is? Oh, sick. You should enter Guilty Gear. Oh, really? That's dope. Hopefully, I'm going to win free entry slash housing slash venue by coming to the next five <laughs> smashed out events. But if not, I'm still probably going to go to go. This is going to be fun. I haven't really been to an FGC tournament. But who knows if I'm going to enter a uh, melee. Yeah. Oh, you haven't been to one? I'm surprised. Say, say you play F you play like FGC games often. Yeah, I don't know if I want to enter melee because that'll be like 30 bucks to enter and stuff, and on top of venue and whatnot. A oh, link deleted, unfortunate. What was the link supposed to be? Like, what did it say? <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about fighting games, too. I normally only play, like, uh, FGC stuff with friends. However, Tekken, I do play ranked online often. But I'm trash. I can do, like, three combos with a quote-unquote technical character. Oh wow. Nana got the grab. See, I don't like that I don't like that down smash. It just brought Nana back to the stage. But I don't know. Like it's hard to do like the the really good options, I guess. Because it's it was really technical, like the soul cancel from like Nair Nair. But Fisher kinda really has to win this game. Because I don't know. Playing on two cans counterfeit game five, it's probably gonna be Pokemon would suck. He just tried to re-grab, but that must have been a mistake. That sucks. I fish it's now up 2-1. I wonder where he's going to go. I mean, he'll probably go back or Pokemon. But again, I have heard more than one Peach player say that FD really isn't uh, too, too bad for them. God, I really want to get back to Grands. Ugh. Yeah, okay, Pokemon Stadium. He changed it up. I don't under I don't know why the Peach players I know say that FD's good, but I'll believe them. Maybe on this stage, it's like easier to shark as Icy's. Who knows? I think you can just like wait, like just float in there once he's on the way down, once uh, Ice is on the way down, whatever. He's kind of messing up these edge guards pretty often, but 
picking him back up somehow. Mm. He overshot the jab. Mm -hmm. Dash tech. I don't think that's a great option in general in this matchup. Just because, you know, where you're going to get off of it. You can probably get off of like safer moves like full cancel fair. Oh, I thought it was. Oh, that down special is actually risky because he might have hit the tree and could have teched it, but he didn't hit the tree, fortunately, for Toucan. Oh, this is a bad spot. Yeah. That lip uh, made it so his aerials actually wouldn't be that safe. Oh no, he missed the follow up. I think there he went. For oh no, now he's just like running up smash attacks, which is always a not a great option. That's normally like the uh, the panic option. But yeah, I think he went for the up smash because he was afraid that uh, Fisher might be able to take the ground or the, the tree. Oh yeah, it's I forgot about uh, Short Hop, uh, Short Hop Iceberg? <laughs> Whatever you call him. Hey, if he gets his edge guard, it's going to be back to even. Hmm. That was a good empty hop grab. Oh. All right. Again, he missed it, but that wasn't that wasn't his fault. That was... Toucan tried to drift and drifted a little too hard. It might be worth going for a uh, for Nana. I don't know. I don't know the percentage. Of Nana. I haven't really been. I haven't been keeping track. But if it's high enough, does Leaf, Leaf Popo do whatever he wants? The fact that no one died there is pretty, pretty crazy. There are such close quarters in Squadron. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nah. I don't know. The dash tag. I mean, the down smash is just not good enough. Or there's just a better punish, I think. Like anything that sends her off stage. Ooh. He keeps doing like these full hop fares to edge guard Nana and Popo too, but it's interesting. I wonder why he doesn't just wait most of the time. Hey, this is stock a game point for two cam. Oh, that was a good. That was good. Oh, a stitch. Oh, did Nana pick it up? Oh no, she didn't. Okay. Two cans very lucky that didn't get worse than it did. Hmm. Alright, this is looking rough. Yeah. Oh no, he didn't get to grab Nana with the side B. Yeah, it's over. Yeah. Hey, Fisher takes it. It's not my turn in losers finals. Huh.
Okay. He turned my headphones. Thank you. All right. Losers finals. Game number two. We have Baby Bird up by one, and it looks like Fisher is going Ganon. I had no idea he had a Ganon. Man, he's a back full truck. <laughs> All right. As I said in the past, this is a bad matchup for Ganon. Makes me wonder why he's going there. Maybe he just wants to screw him up a little bit. Okay, good fair on the platform. He's gonna get back though. Good jab, good turnaround jab. That's actually, I always have trouble doing turnaround anything aside from tilts. Like you have to like tap the control stick very lightly, and that's something I've never ever. I've always had trouble with. Like it took me a while to get short hopping down because like if you press the button normally lightly, it's hard. 
you, I, I can't even, I can barely even get it unless it's on by accident. I just have to, like, scratch the button, the edge of the button. Anyway, enough about me. Dead even game, three stocks apiece. Baby Bird is on fire today, just simply put. Fish it, also pretty good. That was actually my first time playing Fish it, too. Good double dare right there. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't go for a better option. Alright. Oh, gets dared to up air. The up air is going to take it there. Really good stuff to fish it. Fighting back at this high percentage. Good roll to get out of there, but he does get back air. Here comes the down, down B. Up B. Dare does not send them that far. I think that was down smash, and he got and he got clipped with the. It was a trade between jab and down smash. So. Another jab. Yo, Barry, where's Koopa Kev? I thought I thought you were still in. Where do who did he lose to? Oh, he lost to Fisher. Huh. Oh, damn. Yeah, I got that. I can get that. And we all have our bad days. I would be lying if I said I wasn't... Like, I did... I think I did well. I know I could have played better. Again, I'm talking about myself. Ooh, that almost clipped him with the Meteor. Falco's side B does have a Meteor, for those who do not know. Um, and Ganon almost got clipped by it. That would have been bad. Oh, he does not go for a follow-up dare. I'm really surprised he didn't do that. He just went for a spot dodge. I think that was a missed input. Or rather, just a tech club, I should say. And there's the punish. He's still on. Look at this play right there. This footsies. Ooh, nice power shield coming out from Fission. Another trade. Like I said before, Gan's jab is surprisingly fast. Oh, and a down B. Ganon living at 204%. Down tilt. Also, fun little fact about uh, Ganon's jab. In early versions of Melee, I believe it's the one point, uh, it, the very first version of Melee, 1.0, no version further than that. If you equip him with a bunny hood, he gets a second jab. But this second jab does not have a hitbox. Look it up. The more you know. Anyway, back to the match. Pretty much dead even game right now. Unfortunately, Falco's just putting on the pressure for Ganon. He's off stage. I don't know. Well, now he has a second jump again. Okay. Good forward smash. Just barely lives. He cannot take another one. Great DI on Fitch's part. That back air is going to do it. Baby Bird takes game number two. And Fish is down to his last game uh, of the tournament. It's all right. He's keeping calm. Keeping hydrated. And he's giving me a scary look. <laughs> and we're, he's bringing out the Peach. Going to FD. We've seen how good his Peach is on this stage. From the last time I saw him, he's a very good counterpick for Peach. In this matchup, specifically. Because of the chain grabs. I think it's good against Fox, too. Oh, he upbees. Oh, very tricky, Fisher. I like, I like. Good power shield. Double dash attack. Good, avoiding, good way dash back to avoid the getup attack. But he punishes the shine. That should have been Punish. Fish it had plenty. Uh, Fish it. Oh no. Fish it had plenty of time to punish that, in my opinion. I think he just didn't. I think he was afraid he was going to miss, and uh, that was a real possibility. Unfortunately, he does SD there. Here comes the punish right there. Oh, but he side B backs, on, backs on. Back on. Side B's backs on. I'm back on. Damn it, I can't talk today. Alright, look at this pressure. The Bird is showing that he can play defensive, but he can also put on the pressure as well. That's something very important for a Falcon to have. It obviously depends on your play style, and I'm liking Baby Birds a lot. Right now though, we still have a dead we have a dead even game now. 
75% differential. Goes for the dare, does not get it. Good back air to punch the dash attack. Unfortunately, he does get the weak hit. But it does send him off, and send him to the ledge. Puts him in a beneficial position. Good back air again. Good dare, that should do it. All right, that is a dead princess. Fish it. Looking clean right now. I mean, well, both players are looking pretty clean right now. But Baby Bird put this pressure. Under pressure. Good back air right there. Punches the grab. Double shine. Will take the stock at 103%. And fish it down to his winner's... I mean, not his winner's... Down to his tournament life. This is it. He's got to make a very big comeback. And this is on his counter pick, too. All right. That should do the... Yeah, that should do it. All right. He's got two more stocks to take. This is still doable by any chance, by by any means. Unfortunately, he's at 69% right now, and it's climbing. He's got to make... Oh, very good use of the toad right there. That's a very really seen move coming out. Unfortunately, because it is not that good, but it worked out there. Oh, goes off stage. That's it. As he does not get back on. Baby Bird, clean 3-0 over Fish It. Good shit to both players, though. Fish It, unfortunately, not looking too happy with that. I don't, I don't blame him. I'm, I still think he did well, but it's all right. It happens. Uh, Baby Bird was just, I think Baby Bird just honestly outplayed him that whole set. Just doing some great stuff with uh, the laser pressure and camping. And now, this is Grand's, right? All right, well, this is Grand's files. Ignore the loser's files up in the corner, ladies and gentlemen. That is a, uh, it's all right. Uh, this is Grand's right now. So we got Baby Bird versus Fish, Fish It. Grand finals of, of Smashed Out, number 85, I believe. I'm just sitting here on my on my lonesome doing commentary. All right, baby bird coming from losers, vortex and winners. All right, here we go, grand finals, game number one, fish it versus I mean uh, baby bird versus vortex. I'm toucan, all by myself. Let's do this. Oh, you okay? Oh, careful. Oh, what? All right, so we have vortex starting off on Founded Dreams with the Sheik, and we have baby bird going Falco. All right, that was a pretty clean combo right there. But uh, Vortex does the mix-up by going to the ledge. Very risky mix-up, because if you're wrong, you're dead. And here comes the um, the playstyle I was telling you about with um, Baby Bird just doing a good mix of camping and pressure. Unfortunately, that will be the first stock going to Vortex. But at 92%, he's not that far off. I wouldn't say he's in the clear at all. Good, sh good laser grab right there. That's going to be a punish. Down tilt. Does not take it. Um, Fountain's high ceiling coming into play right there. All right. No, that dare will take it. All right. Vortex turning on the heat right there with those fares. Baby, uh, baby, baby bird answering right back. Good crouch cancel. Unfortunately, whoa, he's getting a lot out of that. Never mind. Oh, almost got clipped by the by the side B. Here we go. Here's a nice punch. Does not follow up though. That should be a punch. Oh no! Very smart. Going straight for the ledge. That's a tough area for Sheik to get. He has to risk going off stage and risk getting burned. Good side B. Up air will take it though. And this situation looks very familiar from the last stock. Let's see if he can get. Let's see if Baby Bird can capitalize. That's a punish. But again, good DI this time, and the high ceiling is going to come into play right there. That's exactly what happened in the last stock, too. Deja vu, baby. Oh, no. I would have gone for forward smash right there, definitely. Not down smash. There are better... Down smash is not usually the best option in that situation because um, Vortex was higher up. And unfortunately, that will cost him another stock. Vortex only take Vortex doesn't take too much more, but that back air will not do it. Very good DI by Vortex. That back air will though. And these guys are just casually charging. 
in grand finals. Very nice, guys. See, when you come to Smash Out, you're among friends. You got, you have a good time. I've had a good time tonight. I hope you guys are having a good time watching out there, and I hope everyone else watch uh, and playing here is also having a good time. Okay, nice punish right there. Side B's get back on double side B, but punishes with the nair and the fair. That will take game number one. Going to vortex. I can actually hear them a little bit. Okay, so I'm thinking Baby Bird might want to go to FD or. Oh no, he's. Oh, hold on. We're going back. Are we going to Pokemon or are we going to FD? We're going to FD! Yay, I got it right. Oh, Power Shield. Oh no! Oh, not a good start from Vortex. Catfix working out great, guys. I think that's working out great so far. But no power shield, though. Mm, something smells like candy. All right. Very nice. Oh, gets on a little bit too or too early, I'd say. Gets put by the fair. Side B's back on, but he's back thrown off. Gets burned by the Firebird. Nice dash attack to the fair. That'll take it. Here comes the Shino stalling, or the Shammy stalling. I think that's Shammy stalling. Alright, good near ass shield right there. But the down smash will take it right there. Oh, damn. I just saw someone vape into the vent and it just went out. Damn. Oh, I think he lost his double jump right there. Oh, yeah, he's smiling. I think he lost his double jump. Alright, suddenly this is a dead even game. Alright, here we go. Good pressure from Baby Bird. Up tilt does not connect and he gets punished for it, but that dare will connect. Here comes a good punish right there. Good combo. That. He's not back on, but that down smash will take it. Third power shield, man. Vortex is just ready for these. Uh, another power shield. Uh, and he just goes for the grab release. Uh, thing. I don't think he meant to do that. Because he definitely get, he's getting punished for it now. Good dash attack. He keeps his second jump, though. Nice going straight for him with the Firebird. I don't think Vortex was ready for that. That fair is going to be trouble. He cannot get back on. I think he side beat a little bit too early. Still, this is the last dot game. Let's see what both players can do. All right. Vortex is on the ropes. That forward smash will take it. Baby Bird ties it up at one. All right, we're going to Yoshi's game number three. I like this counter pick for Sheik. It's it's just a good Sheik stage. It's a good Falco stage, but I think it benefits Sheik more because of the sh of the close quarters. Falco can't laser camp as nearly as much as he can on uh, larger stages such as a, such as FD. Good forward tilt right there to Nair. Good. Oh, Randall. Let's go, Nimbus. Unfortunately, he does lose his stock. Oh, and, oh, Vanish is right to the ledge. Very tricky stuff, Vortex. Very tricky stuff. Nice shine. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, he does get punched by the get-up attack. I think he should have shielded there. Because the, because Vortex did not have anywhere else to go. And now he's in trouble. Oh, boy. This is not looking good for Baby Bird. The strategy is not really working out too much. I, I, like I said, I think this counter pick is really good for Sheik. All right, he finally does get a stock, though, but he is playing from one behind. Good crouch cancel forward smash, though. Oh, damn. And he gets clipped by the needle twice. That's going to be a stock. Oh, no. Just <laughs> and Vortex is says he's clearly upset with that. I don't blame him. That was a stock right there. That will 
not be a st Oh, no, that will be a stock. Oh, no! Oh, good down smash on Randall right there to take the stock. Alright, forward smash right there. Oh, goes for it. That's it. He got a little bit too greedy, and he paid for it. Alright, Vortex is one game away from taking the tournament. Let's see if Baby Bird can, can spread his wings and fly to victory. Fly out of the Vortex, Baby Bird. We know you can do it. All right, game number four, going to Pokemon Stadium. This is a good stage for Falco. It's it's just like FD. You can camp, and it's got some good platforms. And I think a lot of the um, transformations can benefit Falco as well. That being said, she can do some good stuff on this stage, too. Oh, I would have gone for another short hop dare right there. Unfortunately, he go he reads it wrong, goes for the forward smash. That's trouble right there. Oh, but he gets out. Vortex does not follow up. That's trouble. Good shine stall right there. And he goes out for it, and he gets punished. Good, Baby Bird is back on. Don't mean to be biased. Another power shield coming out from Vortex, but he get, clips him off stage with an air, I think. All right, first stock going to Vortex. 90-90% on him, though. Oh, no follow-up. I think he wanted to run out of that. He just couldn't get it. Tech Club, very tricky, though. As we all know, Falco and Bombs are very tricky to get. That down tilt will take it this time. Um, Stadium Celium and Celium. Stadium Ceiling is much smaller compared to Thounin. So you'll be able so Falco can get much more down tilt kills on the stage. Another reason why it benefits him. Right now we got the rock transformation coming out right now. Let's see. Oh, oh man, Vortex with all these tilts. Beeper is getting pummeled. He goes alright, we got a dead even game though. He gets out. Here comes the tilt. Here comes the tilt pressure, though, and it's a battle on the cliff. Let's see if we can get into the pit. No nope, trade. The bird's back on. The dare clips him before the fear comes out, but the nair will hit him. A oh, pit fight. Here we go. Fair will take the stock. Vortex up, but it's a small lead. All right, he um, vanishes onto the onto the edge. This should be a stock right there. Oh no! Just barely gets back on. Barely lives though. And he is not on. That's another stock. We have a dead even game, guys. Let's show some, let's show, let's show some hype in the chat. I can't see the chat, but I don't want to. Uh, it's alright. I don't mind not seeing it. Get hype, guys. Alright. Here come the tech chases. All oh, screws up, though. Good shine right there. Down air. Wave shines on the platform. I'm sure he wanted to turn that around, but that's okay. He avoids the dash attack. Here comes the pressure. Oh, shields, shields the forward smash. Nice up tilt from uh, Vortex right there to get him up in the air. Another power shield. Vortex is just too good with these power shields. Needles do not connect, but the down smash will. I don't think he has a jump. And he taunts Vortex on his uh, championship point right now. Tournament point right now. Forward smash will take it, though. Baby Bird is fighting back. Let's see who's going to take this game. I won't, I'm personally rooting for Baby Bird, but I'm just keeping a bias as much as I can. All right. Oh, damn. Gets clipped. Sheik's Fair does go through that tree. And we have a tree fight. Not good. Sitting at, Baby Bird sitting at 106%. He does not punish that forward smash. Uh-oh. This could be it, everyone. All right, he's back on. Does not punish that forward smash again. That is a triple, tricky angle, but he still could have probably punished that. Up air, not gonna take it. Next one will. He is on the ropes. Will, come on. Let's see if Baby Bird can bring this back. Oh, the jab pressure. That shield's getting very small. Up smash, very nice. All right, Vortex is at a decent percent to be killed right now. Sides beat back on. Does not go for the ledge. I like that idea. Down smash, will take it. Vortex takes it, 3-1. And we have the pop off. And that's it, everybody. That's it for Smash Out number 85. Vortex taking the whole thing with Baby Bird coming in a very, very respectable second. And I think Fisher taking third. And I myself, I think I got fourth tonight. Yeah, I think I got fourth. Okay. So that's going to about wrap it up for us here in at Encore Esports. Um, yeah, that's going to pretty much wrap it up for us. So... If you want to um, come and play, uh, want to come out and try your luck at our tournaments, we're located in New Rochelle. We have melee every Monday night, starting at 7:30. We also, if you're also more of a Smash Ultimate fan, 
Um, you can also come to our Smash Ultimate Weeklies every Thursday night, starting at 7:30. And start. And what's new for us? We have a, we're ha starting a weekly Smash Fest every Friday night. So be sure to get on over here for that because I'm definitely coming to that. You guys want some of the ICs practice? I'll give you some. Be more than happy to do it. Anyway, also don't forget to sign up for Defend the North coming July 19th. I don't, unfortunately, don't think I will be able to make it this time. I really want to, but I know I have, I think I have like a vacation I'm doing with my friends that day. So, unfortunately, but definitely sign up for that. Awesome tournament at the New York, at the New Yorker. It's going to be really hype, guys. Anyway, I think that's about going to do it for us. So, until next time, this is Toucan signing off. Peace, everyone. Holding that pressure down. 